we just got this XQD card in for data recovery. It just basically hangs up any type of data recovery software as soon as uh, it's connected to the reader. The reader I was using is just like one of those simple ones from Amazon. Our studio would open up. It would see that um, the uh, device uh, is connected. It would see that it um, detects as a 64 gig, but it only does that after uh, the device had been pulled out of the machine. With the device being still inside of the reader, um, it was just hanging up. So if it's hanging up, uh, I had a suspicion that maybe uh, one of the chips is uh, disconnected. And uh, through the con connector uh, of the, through the interface itself, I could see that it was bent a little bit. Now once I got it out of the case, uh, this picture became a bit more obvious. If you look closely, this board is a little bit warped. Over there, you can see that pads started to get pulled. Now, as I've explained this several times before, uh, those exterior pads, they're just there for alignment, for structural support, for that extra uh, hold and grab to the board. But uh, nonetheless, if you see that they are uh, starting to separate, that's a good time to uh, check for the vital signs, right? So I'm gonna just go ahead and label everything first. Chip one, two, three, and four. Just gonna have to pull them all together and have them rebold and set them back up. And then we'll uh, plug this thing back into our studio and see if our studio is gonna be able to determine what this card is and how to work with it. It would be really nice to have an exact same card and just swap them all over. But if we look in the center, all pads are in place and uh, that's a really good start. I also don't want to apply any pressure to this board, that's why it's kind of loose like this in the jig. Just because it's a really uh, thin board and I really don't want to um, harm it by over tightening the jig and then warping the board a little bit. Sometimes all that's gonna take is just one contact is gonna go bad, and that is it. The unit uh, just stops responding.
that's that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, clean up all four real quick. There's the broken pad. Again, uh, it's on the outside, probably isn't critical, not a signed pad, not connected pad. But the fact that it exists is um, gives me grounds to believe that maybe there's something more to it. Now this piece is full. I'm thinking uh, controller is not an issue in this situation because uh, the volume comes up eventually when the device is disconnected. And the last out of four. Look at that. Okay, four chips done and sitting pretty. Uh, what's next? Well, the next thing is we're gonna need to uh, just basically set them all back again. I'm gonna use uh, the bottom side first. See that little dance this chip did?
were good but those three dot 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 that's where that's how we know where the um, orientation of the chip should be Let's check it out this stencil is um, thinner so the balls that it makes they're also smaller but with that being said it's not about the size it's about how even they are and how well they stick to the um, surface is what is going to make it or break it. Last one. It's good. Let's try to put it back into its original case, because that would be nice. I guess we're going to work it like this. Yeah, I don't know. Can you guys see it? I just had to cut the top off of it. Hopefully that's, hopefully that's enough. Back here is the only computer that I have USB-C connection on. Well, we, uh, we're getting something, because now at least it's asking us to format the disk. We definitely, definitely don't want to format the disk. We're going to say cancel. But over here is the reader for the card. And over here, it displays the volume for the same card. And now it actually shows a partition and it shows XFAT. Did you see? Um, hopefully you saw. But if we go into uh, view and edit, we can see that this is XFAT partition. And if we scroll through it, we can actually see that there's data there. Let's, uh, let me blur this for you. Look at this. Oh yeah. Scan. Yeah. So there's definitely data in there. There is definitely data in there. As you can see, it's finding the blocks and stuff. So I'll let it scan through, and uh, hopefully by the time it's done, I, I'm going to end up with something that I can save for the client. But it uh, looks like we brought the card back to life. So my uh, hunch was right. The connection uh, got damaged because something got bent on the card and the data is now saved, at least um, if they didn't format it. So the card's been brought back to life and uh, the data is now accessible. So yeah, uh, it's better to repair the device than go ahead and recover it because there are four chips and um, that controller, I'm not very familiar with it. I don't know exactly how it operates, but um, getting the device to work again was the easiest and fastest way to get this thing done. If you have problems with your memory card that need assistance, link in the description will guide you to our website where you can request the services. For everybody else who is new to this channel, welcome. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. And uh, I hope you like this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.